let's learn how to install Olama on Windows machine. So the first thing you need to do is you need to come to this website called olama.com. That is the official website of Olama and uh, you need to download it. So what you need to do first is download Olama, install Olama, download some models and then run it. This is the four step process which I'll be explaining here. So first step is download. So I click on this and I come on a page which shows me Mac OS, Linux and Windows. I am on Windows machine. If you are on a Mac or Linux, install the different one. So I'm downloading for Windows. The minimum requirement is Windows 10 or higher. So here is the Olama setup. This is approximately 750 MB. So it will take some time to download. While the download is happening right now, it's around 50% is downloaded. While the download is happening, you can check out the models. So these are the LLM models which you can run locally on your machine. Uh, mostly if you have uh, a graphics card of uh, 10 GB, 12 GB, 16 GB, you should be able to run all these models easily. Uh, mostly up to 8 GB models you should be able to run. And now these days, for example, let's see Llama 3.2. We have got uh, smaller models, bigger models. So this is a bigger model where we have uh, 11 billion and 90 billion parameters. But if you go for this one, Llama 3.2, it has a 1 billion parameter as well. So you decide which one you want to run locally. Bigger the size, more accuracy it can provide. But you also need to see how much VRAM you have. I have this uh, AMD Ryzen system. But the CPU does not matter. I have 16 cores and 32 threads and my GPU is RTX 3080 with 12 GB of RAM. If you want to increase the, the better option might be RTX 4060 Ti which is 16 GB RAM. So that might work better. Okay, so my Olama setup is downloaded. So let me open. This is the folder downloads where it is downloaded. I double click on it and do the regular installation. So I click on install. Please remember where is it installing and this is where it will be downloading the big model. So if in future you have to delete those models, you should know where are you installing it. Now this completes my second step, which is that Olama is downloaded and now installed. So step two is completed. Now we go for third step. So by default Olama is started and you can see here this that Olama is running. So I'm quitting it right now so that uh, I can show you how to start from scratch. So you do your search here and here you search for Olama and you see this app, you start this app and you will not see anything happening on the screen because Olama run as a server in the background. So you can check here, this is running here. So that is the step that now Olama is running. Now how to use it? Before using it, we need to download some uh, models. So I come to my models page again and I decide that I want to run Llama 3.2 1 billion model. Okay, let's say this. Okay, so if this model then I want to run this command. How this works is you do your command prompt and uh, you run Olama and it will show you all the option what you can do. You can start your Olama from the command prompt instead of uh, going here and, and uh, searching for Olama. That's the one thing. When you want to run a model, you use this command. You say Olama run and the model name. If model is there on the hard drive means it has downloaded that model in the past. It will run that model. Otherwise, it will fetch the model. So what I'll do is I'll, so I'll run the command Olama run Llama 3.2 1 billion. So I will copy this, go to my command prompt and paste it. And now it will fetch the manifest that will fetch the whole model. This is a small model. I'm showing you as an example, but normally uh, 3.1, 3.2, Llama 3, and all other models, the right model to run would be 8 billion models. So let it download and we'll come back. Okay, so it has reached 100%. Fetching few more things. So in my case, it took a minute or so. In your case, it might be less, it might be more depending on uh, how it, what kind of internet connection you have. Okay, so now Olama is installed and it is uh, ready to run. So I say hi, tell me a joke, tell me the 
12 stages of hero's journey okay hmm. okay so doing good gpu memory is being used 4.7 because this is a smaller uh, model so not taking too much gpu tell me the same thing in spanish okay so here out of 16 gb 8 gb is being used so no difference in ram gpu memory is consistently 4.7 gb and this gpu uh, don't worry about this gpu this is internal gpu this is being used by obs which is where which is where i'm uh, doing my screen recording so obs screen recording is being run on gpu 1 and gpu 2 is running this system so this is uh, how you do it and if you want to know all the commands these are the commands and when you want to exit you can just say exit so this is how you install olama on windows fetch a model and run it there are many other olama related video i have created uh, in the past and you can find all their links in the description below thank you